We took a beaker of water, some potassium permanganate to dye the liquid and guided it to the bottom of the beaker. Well, eventually. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. We then started to heat the liquid but just at one corner of the beaker. The hot liquid began to rise towards the surface. Cold liquid was drawn in to replace it. On reaching the surface, the hot liquid began to cool. This caused it to sink before it was drawn in to be heated again. A convection current had been formed. This eventually transferred heat from the flame throughout the whole volume of water in the beaker. Ooh, convection! But why does this happen? Oh, great one. Well, <laughs> as the liquid is heated, the particles in the liquid gain energy and move further apart. The liquid expands, it becomes less dense and starts to rise to the surface. New liquid is drawn in to take its place. Meanwhile, the hot liquid at the surface begins to cool. The particles get close together. In other words, the liquid contracts, becomes more dense and sinks towards the bottom. A convection current is formed and the liquid is drawn towards the flame where the whole process begins again. There it goes, becomes less dense and rises. Convection, who cares? Convection, who cares? You should. It affects the whole planet and this living room. All sorts of things. Convection is responsible for the powerful currents in our oceans. These are dangerous for swimmers and drive the Earth's climate. There are also huge convection currents in the magma underneath the Earth's crust. These are responsible for the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates, which lead to earthquakes and volcanoes. Which reminds me, lava lamps work using convection too. Look at the hot wax blobs rising as they become less dense. Wildlife makes use of convection too. Birds of prey use thermal updrafts of hot, less dense air that allow them to glide effortlessly as they search for food. Gliders, those planes of our engines, work in much the same way. Wind itself is also caused by convection, from a gentle summer breeze to a howling gale. But oh, magnificent one! How does convection cause wind? Not that kind of wind. Good question, worthless lab animal. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to go to Egypt to find out. Egypt, land of the pharaohs, home of the mighty pyramids, and provide a fairly cheap, all-inclusive beach package holidays. Hello there. I'm here today on the Red Sea coast in Egypt to explain to you how sea breezes work. It's daytime in Egypt and what a lovely sea breeze it is. I can feel it gently blowing on my face as it comes from the sea to the land. But why? Well, it's all down to convection. During the day, the land heats up much quicker than the water. Therefore the land's hot and the water's cold. The hot air above the land becomes less dense and rises. This means that cold, more dense air from over the chilly sea is drawn in to take its place. It's this moving cold air that we feel as a sea breeze, as it moves from the sea onto the land. And what a strong breeze it is too. But as day turns to night, something strange happens. It's now night time. I can tell that sort of thing. The situation's changed. The land now is cooling down much, much faster than the sea. Okay, so the sea is actually hotter than the land. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think will happen? Press pause now. Too late. As I said before, it's night time. The land has cooled down quicker. The sea's retained its heat. Therefore, the hot air is rising above the sea and the cold air is being drawn in from the land towards the sea. The wind direction has been reversed. Sea, that way. Land, that way. Towards the sea. See, night time, wind direction has changed from the land towards the sea. So there we have it. Sea breezes and wind explained by convection. So that's all from me today on my special science geek report in Egypt on the Red Sea coast. 
back to me in the studio. Next! Thanks, me. Convection also causes drafts, but this is a good thing as it ventilates rooms by drawing fresh air into confined spaces. No, really, I mean it. Convention! Yes. What? You're still not convinced? Well, try this then. Convection in the home! Convection is important in the home. This radiator shouldn't really be called a radiator. It should be called a convector, because that's how it heats the room. What happens is the hot air becomes less dense, it rises, it gets pushed across the room, the new hot air rises as well, carrying it along in the convection current, it cools down, becomes more dense and sinks. Eventually the whole room gets heated. Radiators, heating rooms, don't get better than this you know, science. Hey. The hot air in your house all rises, that's why we need loft insulation, otherwise it goes straight out of the roof. Science does not get more exciting than this. Pans, kettles and boilers all heat water via convection. Hot water boilers. Huge tanks of water heated by convection. Boiling water. Now that is interesting. Ovens work by convection too. Hot air is heated at the bottom, rises, we get a nice convection current going on. Top part of the oven is the hottest. However, we don't always like that, so we have fine assisted ovens nowadays. That means the heat is spread out more evenly, so your food cooks more evenly. Ovens, eh? Exciting stuff, I did warn you. This freezing compartment at the top of my fridge actually helps to keep the rest of the fridge cold as well. That's why it's at the top. Any hot air that rises gets cooled down by this freezer section, becomes more dense, sinks back into the fridge, keeping the rest of the contents colder. It's more efficient that way. Well, you're still not convinced after all that, eh? Water boiling, live. Kettles. Radiators. Tectonic plates, no. Oh well. Alright, be like that. I mean, see if I care, really. I know it's important. See if I'm bothered. See if I care. Trouble is, I do care. I care too much. Oh well. Next! Finally, <laughs> Convection only occurs in liquids and gases. Hot less dense fluid rises, cold more dense fluid sinks. Causes wind. No, not that type. Continental drift. Used in heating of rooms, ovens, boiling water, lava lamps. Helps to ventilate rooms too. 30 seconds jumped out. Don't know why we bothered to press the video to be honest. Good night. <laughs>